Welcome to day 2,463 today. Sharon Hornell from here documenting the journey. Originally, as I came online from the brick and mortar corporate world of businesses uh, to the online world and back and forth again. I've done a lot of back and forth over the last mm, five, six years. So today we're talking about, I create a couple of pieces of content every day, mainly to keep track of what I am doing and what I am up to, because sometimes otherwise I lose track. But uh, today we're talking about a couple pieces of content I create each day. One is the annual challenge. This year it's the Let's Grow annual challenge. And today we are on step two of our growing process. We set our own growing process up in January and we've applied it to each of the nine different life framework areas. This month it's communication growth, which is the ninth uh, area that we're discussing. Physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, financial, relationships, contribution, confidence, and communication. And so I don't, I mix them up every every year. I don't do them in the same order. I think it's fun to do things and think about things and work on things in our life in a different order, not always in the same order. And it's not in alignment with my priorities. Communication is, of course, not my ninth priority. We did a priority setting, I, I want to say in January, uh, to determine at that time which of the life framework areas were, were most important and highest priority to us. And so today we're talking about the step two of the growing process, which is results now. Yesterday we talked about and set a SMART goal, which is our desired story, right? It's what we want, and we set it in the SMART goal framework, and we came up with ours. And I didn't share mine. I forgot to share it when we were talking, but mine is to improve my communication with my granddaughters, specifically my three-year-old granddaughter. And I shared some of that in today's video. And then what my results are right now. And all we're doing today is we're brainstorming and doing bullet points of being present and what what is the situation for us right now with respect to the area of communication that we want to improve and are applying the growing process to. I've got PJ's story in, which is Patrick Jr., uh, in Guide to the Let's Grow Annual Challenge private Facebook group page. And we'll follow his story through all seven steps of the process. I think it's it adds consistency and it gives you another person's way of applying the different steps and other things to think about, right? The more we have to think about the different perspectives, I find really, really valuable. That's why I ask you to share your comments and your stories and your ahas in the comments below, etc. For Supersize Your Business, today is day 74 of our Fundamental Supersize Business Strategies. I've been sharing strategies that apply across industries and across businesses and can be used in any business. And today's is priorities, setting priorities. So I shared a bunch of of course, my lovely graphics from my daily uh, videos. We did the head, heart, intuition, the urine analysis. Uh, we talked about nominal group technique. We talked about Eisenhower matrices. We talked about decision making tools like simple ones, pros, cons, plus or minus. And then, of course, one of my favorite tools, the self framework. Because we want to have a bunch of tools in our toolbox. So, no matter what happens, we can determine if something is right for us and our, our business in this case right now or not. So that's all I've got today. If I can help you in any way, ask, I'm still battling a cold and a cough, which is super annoying because it's such a beautiful time of year. But if I can help you ask, I'm glad to, to be a resource for you. Uh, that's all I've got. Have an awesome day. I'll of course be with you tomorrow.